What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna walk you through Divi Switch. Right, so we're here, we're at AspenGroveStudios.com and we're gonna walk you through Divi Switch Pro. Uh, Aspen Grove Studios has some really, really cool plugins, some great products, especially if you're WooCommerce, uh, but just in general, there's a ton of great layouts, a ton of great plugins. They're always doing really cool things at Aspen Grove Studios, Divi Space, and WP Gears. They're just phenomenal company. They make great products. So in this video, we're going to walk you through Divi Switch Pro, specifically the one that comes with the membership to Aspen Grove Studios. So as you can see here, less time coding, more time creating. What That's their tagline, but what they do is in the Divi theme options, you'll see here, um, they've created an additional tab. And there's a ton of things inside of here. So there's a Divi Switch tab, and then there's tweaks to the header of the footer, main content, mobile tweaks, module tweaks, post, archive, integrations, you see them all. And there's so many things that we're gonna get into in this video that a lot of people um, have code saved for that this plugin will absolutely handle specifically for you. So um, this isn't really a, um, this isn't me advocating for Aspen Grove Studios or for you getting a membership there, but I definitely have one. It's definitely worth it for me. I love what they do. I love the products they have. Page Builder Everywhere, Divi Switch. There's, there's just a ton of them. Um, I really love what they do. So you can see here, and we'll link up the, um, this particular product, we'll link up the, the Aspen Grove Studios website um, in, the, in the video description below. Um, that way you'll be able to check it out, look through this whole page, and see every single option that we're gonna cover in this video, just in case we kind of gloss over something that you wanna spend more time on. But if you do decide to get Divi Switch Pro, it's $29 for one site, $59 for three, or $79 for unlimited, or you can get the annual membership which gives you access to everything for $149 a year or $399 a lifetime. Whatever one you choose, I think you're gonna be very happy with this plugin. But let's jump in to uh, a brand new, this is um, a, a WordPress installation that only has Divi installed. So we'll walk you through that real quick so you can see um, themes. There's gonna be just the basic 2019 in Divi. Inside of plugins, there's gonna be absolutely nothing but post duplicator. I put it in there just so I can duplicate pages and posts really quick. We're gonna go ahead and install Divi Switch. So we've already downloaded it and we're going to just Put it in there and make sure that uh, that we're that we're installed and we're going to go through that process real quick. So we're going to activate the plugin. Very very cool. So from there, the theme options in under Divi Switch is going to where you're going to put your license code in. And once you've activated the license code, it opens up all of the options that Divi Switch brings to you. So. You can remove some things. We're gonna open up the, the front end of the website just so you can see some of these changes as we do them live. So, you know, there's basically nothing here. I mean, really a whole lot of nothing. We've created some blank pages just so there's a little bit of content, but there's nothing to them. They're just, they're just there to show the menu. So, remove main header underline. Make phone number clickable on call, open social links and new tabs, center align top header items. We'll do a few of those just, just because. So we can go ahead and do that, we'll save it. We'll jump back to the front end and hit refresh. And it doesn't look like a whole lot's changed because we don't have a lot going on. But if we were to, let's say, actually import a, a layout, You'll be able to see it as we scroll down. You're going to see some different things. So let's go and choose a pre-made layout. It's going to pop up with our options. We're going to pick one of Elegant Themes, um, one of the layouts that they have. So it doesn't really matter too much which one we pick. They've got so, so many. And honestly, I've not looked at them for quite a while. So they've added at two a week. They're just adding them like crazy. Let's go to Web Freelancer and we're just gonna do the landing page. We'll use a layout and we'll dump it here on the home page. All right, so we've got the layout here and we're gonna play around just a little bit with this. We're gonna save it and we're just going to um, go back in and change some theme options and we'll keep refreshing just to see how some of these Divi Switch options impact the front end of our site. So let's go back in here and we're talking about header. Um, we can do a different logo 
on scroll. Actually, let's upload the blue logo. It's gonna look really bad on the black, but that's okay. It doesn't matter too much because we're not really trying to make it aesthetically pleasing. We're just trying to show you a little bit of what happens on this um, on the site. So that's fine. Upload this, we'll save it. And you're gonna see we've got the regular logo and then as we scroll, it changes. So that's one cool feature that's built in. So if you needed to do uh, something that was a little more square on the full menu and as you scroll, you get something that's a little more rectangle so it fits in a smaller menu, you can do that. And we can also replace the full screen menu with a layout. So if you build layouts and add them to the Divi library, they would show up here. And you could actually just put your whole layout in the full screen menu, which is really, really cool. We've got some footer options as well. So, you know, here we don't have anything set up for the footer outside of the uh, the social icons and the regular, you know, the regular bottom bar. So well, we can hide the bottom bar. We could replace it with a layout. So this is a cool way to put the widgets, uh, take them and expand on that using a Divi uh, builder. You can actually just set an entire layout as the footer, so refresh this, and now the bottom footer's gone, so it's just what's in that layout pack. And then we've got the main content, so dividing line sidebar. When we go here, we've got the regular page we imported, we've got the blog where we use the Divi Builder, and we put the content there, and then we've got the, the contact page, which leaves the default Divi sidebar. This bar here is what we're removing with this line. So we'll hit save. It's going to save and we can come back here, refresh this page and the sidebar is gone. So that's that option. You've got the homepage preloader. So if you wanted something, you wanted to create a, a preloader transition, you could fade in, fade out, change the colors. So let's just set one up and then we'll come back to the homepage and see it should fade. And see we've got the preloader and the page fades in. So that's a cool little option. It kind of makes things seem a lot different than standard Divi. You can change the basic slider animations. You can remove project posts here. So if you don't have any projects, you don't plan on using that, you can just add that option, enable that option, and it's gonna clean up the back end just a little bit. Projects will be gone. The really cool thing I love about Divi Switch is these two options right here. So when you're updating, you can set a custom page or any page that you have. You can build it specifically for there's maintenance going on your site or a 404 page and set them here. So you can build that and just dump them in here and it will automatically take the place of a maintenance page or the, uh, the, the 404 page. It's very, very cool stuff. So you know that whenever you shrink this website in and you go to mobile, there is, you know, the four menus here or the four items here that we've got in our menu. But if we go back and we added some sub menus, like you will see here, those don't traditionally collapse inside of Divi. And what we mean by that I'm sure you're familiar with it, especially on mobile. This is not enabled. So whenever we refresh this page and we shrink down to the mobile layout, you see here, we've got the sub menu and when we shrink it down, Divi displays it like this. So there's no, it would just be a big list, especially if your site is large. What this option does, it collapses the sub menu. I got my partner in crime here. He's come and help me. So we're going to activate this one. And when we go back and refresh the front end, you're going to see as we shrink this down to mobile size that the menus that were not collapsed before are now collapsed. So we've got this icon. You can click and you can expand it. So for big sites with a bunch of sub menus and a bunch of pages, that really helps the mobile experience a lot. We can go into post and you can add comments and a toggle. So if all the comments you want to shrink down, you can have a toggle to expand those. Uh, for archives, you can add the category title to the top of the page. It gives it a different look. It's pretty cool. You can automatically remove the uh, sidebar. You can add the read more link or add a separate line under each post. So there's a few little design tweaks. Um, this integration is really cool where you can insert a layout before your main content. You can insert one after your main content. 
or before your post content. So what I like to do here, if I'm using this before post content, I know it's gonna be on my blog. So I would create a layout that has the shareability, like Monarch, where I can share the post or the page that they're on. I would insert that before post content. With the insert layout before main content, this is where you can actually hide the header, the regular header, and insert a custom header, or you can do something above the menu. You can do anything you want here. And then after main content, this would allow you to insert a custom footer. So these are great things. Uh, SVG uploads, I never really use, but it's there if you want. And then there's also some, um, some plugin options. So you can export all of your options into a file or you can take them from another site and import them to this one. So that's kind of, that's Divi Switch. Um, it saves a ton of time from having to go in and do custom codes on some of the things that a lot of you are doing on your Divi site regardless. So for every every install, you know, that's kind of why I use the blueprints like we talked about in the beginning. Um, I like to have, um, I like to have a very basic Divi install with all my plugins and everything set up. Uh, this is kind of, Divi Switch is sort of the Swiss Army knife of plugins for Divi. You know, it allows you to do so many things at the click of a button. You know, you toggle it on and it's good to go. I just love it. I think it's a great plugin. It's very well done and it's continually updated. The Aspen Grow Studios team, every time there's a there's a big WordPress update or a big Divi update, they they do incremental updates to this to keep it safe, to keep it updated and to keep it working the way it's supposed to. So Kudos to Aspen Grow Studios, to David Blackman and Corey Jenkins. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the amazing product. And uh, really, for you, I appreciate you for watching this video. So in the description below, we're, gonna, we're going to link specifically to Aspen Grow Studios' website where you can check out all their plugins, including Divi Switch. They do an amazing job, as we've said. So support those guys. Thank you, thank you for being here. We ask that you do what the end credits say and smash the like button. Subscribe if you like what we're doing here. We're gonna continue to pump out walkthrough videos and business tutorials and Divi updates and all the things surrounding WordPress and running an agency, including all the plugins and walkthroughs that we can, that we can possibly bring your way. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.